This video is going to look at the price elasticity of demand. The price elasticity of demand describes how much the quantity demand changes when there is a change in price. We have two demand curves here and we know from our demand curves that as the price of a product falls, the quantity demanded increases. By looking at elasticity, we can describe how much that quantity demanded will increase when the price falls. The demand curve on the left is an inelastic demand curve. This is the demand curve that is very steep. And the flatter demand curve is an elastic demand curve. We're going to have a look at what these concepts mean. We're going to have a look at what happens to the quantity demanded when the price of the product falls from P1 to P2. On the inelastic demand curve, the reduction of the price from P1 to P2 leads to an increase in the quantity demanded because the product is now cheaper, but it only increases a very small amount from Q1 to Q2. We can think of this idea of inelasticity as not being able to stretch very far. We're not able to pull uh, very far from Q1 to Q2. We can't make that change very large when there's a decrease in price. On the elastic demand curve, however, we're able to stretch it a long way. As the price falls from P1 to P2, there's a great increase in demand from Q1 to Q2. The first product, the inelastic one, is a product that I need to purchase regardless of the price and there aren't many substitutes for that product. A good example for me would be petrol in my car. I don't live near public transport and I'm unable to get to work any other way. If the price of petrol increases, I can't change the quantity that I demand. And so there is a very inelastic demand for that product. For the elastic product, it's probably a product that people don't need to purchase and that there might be a lot of substitutes for. So if the price changed dramatically, there would be a big uh, change in the quantity that people demand. So this is a basic introduction to the idea of elasticity. There will be further videos that explain things like the impact of changes in price on revenue for inelastic and elastic products.